New York City, the epicenter of the coronavirus pandemic in the U.S., reported over 200,000 infections and over 20,000 deaths as of May 24th. By contrast, Hong Kong, a city similar to New York, has less than 1% of its numbers. What is Hong Kong's shield against COVID-19? Hong Kong is at the southern tip of China. It resembles New York City in many aspects. It is one of the most densely populated places worldwide, with one of the world's most crowded public transportation systems. As an international financial center, Hong Kong also has one of the busiest airports in the world. High-speed trains and daily flights shuttle between Hong Kong and major cities in China, including Wuhan. In 2019, about 44 million people visited Hong Kong from mainland China. Hong Kong's first coronavirus case emerged on January 22nd. Hong Kong government's reaction has been widely criticized as insufficient and slow. Many expected Hong Kong to be another Wuhan outside of the mainland. Yet, four months have passed. Hong Kong has just over 1,000 infections and four deaths. Without complete border closure, nor a total lockdown, Hong Kong seems to have successfully contained the virus. How did they achieve that? To find out, we must go back to 2003, when severe acute respiratory syndrome, or SARS epidemic, devastated Hong Kong. SARS first broke out in November 2002 in China's Guangdong province, that is, bordering Hong Kong. However, the Chinese government didn't report it to the World Health Organization, WHO, until three months later. Whistleblower Dr. Zhang Yanyong revealed to the media outside China that Beijing drastically understated the scale of the outbreak. In February 2003, SARS spread to Hong Kong when a super-spreader checked into a hotel and infected over 20 guests. Hong Kong suffered the dire consequences of Beijing's cover-up. In the next four months, the city's economy was crippled. The market crashed. Unemployment reached a record high. 1,755 people were infected. Over 20% of them were hospital staff. 299 people died, including eight frontline medical personnel. To Hong Kongers, it was a lesson to not forget. A memorial park to commemorate the medics was built. SARS reminded Hong Kongers to not trust the Chinese Communist Party. The other factor contributing to Hong Kong's containment of the pandemic has to do with the civil communication infrastructure created and matured during the 2019 pro-democracy protests. Hong Kong enjoyed democracy and rule of law until its return to the mainland in 1997. Over the years, the CCP has never stopped tightening its grip on Hong Kong through controlling its government and infiltrating its civil organizations. Hong Kongers' distrust of the Beijing and Hong Kong government turns out to be their best protection in the pandemic. When Beijing informed the WHO about the unknown pneumonia on December 31, 2019, Hong Kong citizens were alert. When the WHO echoed the Chinese government's claim that there was not enough evidence of human-to-human -human transmission, and when the Hong Kong government claimed there was no need to use face masks, Hong Kongers spontaneously adopted near-universal masking on their own, defying the government's ban on masks. Moreover, Hong Kong government's promise of sufficient supply of personal protective equipment Yes, I'm very, uh, very afraid. We are workers here in the front line, uh, but uh, they didn't uh, the HA didn't provide any, uh, enough uh, protective equipment to us. Prompted Hong Kongers to source their own supplies of PPE through their own networks. In early February, Wuhan was in full lockdown. WHO declared a global health emergency. Yet, the Hong Kong government refused to close the borders with mainland China. Over 3,000 Hong Kong medical workers went on strike. They held signs that read, Do not forget the lesson from SARS. Do not sacrifice the medical staff for nothing. And save Hong Kong, close the borders. I just want here to support all my colleagues. 
and we just hope the government can immediately close all the border in case to save all the citizens in Hong Kong. Hong Kong officials eventually closed some border crossings, but never fully shut down the border. Despite the incompetence of the Hong Kong government, the Hong Kong people made the difference. Hong Kongers summarized their armors against the pandemic into three points. Distrusting the Hong Kong authorities, distrusting the Chinese communist regime, and distrusting the WHO. Since both the Hong Kong authorities and the WHO are heavily subverted by Beijing, Hong Kong's shield, in essence, is the Hong Kong people who do not trust the CCP. Hong Kong people have learned their lesson from 17 years ago. Today, we have lost nearly 350,000 lives worldwide to the pandemic. What lessons can we learn from this disastrous pandemic? In the next episode, we will investigate countries that have suffered the most in the COVID-19 pandemic and find out what they have in common. We hope our findings will shed light on how to protect ourselves from the next wave. Please like and subscribe to TVD Studio.